morning guys a um, little bit of rough news um, little uh, baby Jack y'all know him as Jack um, <laughs> my daughter and her boyfriend have, uh, have been calling him Gary they re renamed him Gary but little Jack the kitten do y'all remember him on our previous video that we rescued and um, pulled him out of uh, the console of a vehicle where he was hiding when he was eating bitty well um, we say little Jack but he's he's almost grown now he is sick and he has a, a bit of a cold. He's just, he's coughing, sneezing, his eyes are running. He just, he looks like, like somebody who's miserable with a cold. He looks like a little person that has a cold, like a little toddler. Um, and he's just crying and he's, he's a little bit lethargic and like not acting like himself. And um, yeah, we just, we, we noticed the other day that he was, uh, that he was getting sick and going down. So we had to wait till today, which is Monday for the vet to open. And now they're open and I'm headed out first thing to take little Gary to the vet. I've also got those big carriers with me. Gary's in the little carrier here next to me. But I've got those big carriers in the back because they have the two feral cats that I caught. If y'all watched my last video, y'all see the feral cats um, that I caught out by my daughter's high school. Um, that they're turning into a cat colony. It's becoming a problem. So I've caught two of them. Hopefully male. I'll find out. But hopefully they're male. I'm going to take them in. They're really, uh, they're injured. They're dirty. They're just uh, not in great health. It's just, it's, it's feral cats and there's too many of them. And I'm going to try to get them treated and try to get them as healthy as I can. And most importantly, I'm going to get them neutered. And then uh, I'm going to get their ear notched, you know, so that we know they're fixed. And then I'm going to release them back into uh, the area where they were so they can live out their life um, a little, a little more healthily and uh, not breed and not create anymore. So I'm going to keep doing this with my traps. I'm going to keep catching and spaying and neutering and releasing. But today I've got to take care of baby Gary because um, that cold is getting bad. So we're going to go get him fixed up. <laughs> That's TC, local vet kitty. Another vet kitty here. Yeah. Very interested in what I got. Yeah. These are not friendly kitties, guys. These are feral kitties. We made it, Gary. We made it. You want to come out and see me, baby? Yeah, we made it. Come on, baby. I'll hold you. I'll hold you while we wait on the doctor. Come on. Come on. Let me love. So let me love. Yeah, poor Gary. Yeah, poor Gary. We're gonna fix it. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be okay, baby. Well, that went really great, you guys. Um, he gave uh, the first dose of antibiotic to Gary and sent the rest of the bottle home with me once a day uh, just to, um, you know, get rid of any uh, subsequent bacterial infection. But it is a virus, and, you know, it's a cold virus, and it's going to have to work itself through the, the kitty just like it does any uh, child, any human child that gets a, a cold virus. It's going to have to work itself out. But um, bacterial antibiotic to, like I said, get rid of any other subsequent infections that may occur and to help, you know, alleviate symptoms and stuff like that. Uh, so we're just treating the baby for a cold. Um, he did, he's so awesome. He did send me home with a more heavy duty, souped up, like stronger um, antibiotic in case uh, something worse occurs or um, in case one of the other cats, uh, you know, that is probably gonna get the same cold virus because it spreads just like kids in school, it spreads. And one of the other cats may get the same cold and it may get worse and they may have like yellow discharge and they may, you know, have a lot of coughing and sneezing and it may be a real bad cold. If it gets real bad, he sent me home with the heavy duty uh, antibiotics, the heavy hitters. So he just, he's so good. He covers like anything I need because he knows I'm an hour away. It's an hour drive to make it out here to this vet. So he sends me home with everything that I may or may not need. And so I'm so appreciative and grateful to him. Also, um, he took the two feral kitties that I brought in today and he said that they're going to do their best. Um, you know, no promises that they can get them fixed, hopefully, if they can, like, if they can handle them. Um, you know, because these, these are wild cats, y'all. These, they come out of a bag on you. They don't like being touched. They don't like humans near them. They will hiss and spit and scratch and fight. And um, so they're definitely going to have to 
even try to sedate them uh, to get them out of the carriers or they're gonna have to use you know really thick gloves to try to handle them and you know both cats have those injuries they're gonna try to treat them as best they can so he told me they're just gonna do their best today <laughs> they're gonna try to work them in try to get them all uh, set up and fixed and everything but once they've had their treatment been treated for injuries and once they have been fixed and they've come out of surgery and they're awake and they can wrestle them back into the carrier you know hopefully they'll be sedated enough to get them easily back into the carriers but once they have it all done they're gonna call me and they said we need you to come get them like right away so I said yep as soon as you call me I'll be back out here to get them I, I will definitely do that I'll pick them back up and I let them know that these are uh, catch and release these are you know spay and neuter and release type of cats so they understand the the assignment there <laughs> so I should be picking those cats up today come on Gary baby we're home let's go home Lily come get your baby gave him some cold medicine yeah Gary, are you okay, buddy? Are you getting better? Yeah, we're gonna give him the medicine every day till he gets better. Yeah. Here's your baby. Yeah, he's still all snuffly. He did not like the cat carrier. He didn't want to go to bed, but he's happy to be home. Yeah, it's all right. You're a good boy. He's so spoiled. Sourdough bread is coming along. It's doing its uh doing all the turns and doing the first bulk rise and then uh, a couple more turns every 30 minutes and I'm gonna fold it out onto this flat surface and work it with the bench scraper bread knife thing and, um, and I'm gonna do the bench rest and then it'll do its final rise and then I can bake it. Long process but so worth it. Oh it smells so good. I got my ticket for the long way ride Two bottle of whiskey for the way and I sure would like some sweet company And I'm leaving tomorrow, what do you say? Cause when I'm gone, when I'm gone You're gonna miss me when I'm gone You're gonna miss me by my walk You're gonna miss me by my talk oh, You're gonna miss me when I'm gone I got my ticket for the long way round The one with the prettiest of views it's got mountains, it's got rivers, it's got sights to make you shiver, but it sure would be prettier with you. Cause when I'm gone, when I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair, you're gonna miss me everywhere, oh. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. gonna miss me by my hair you're gonna miss me everywhere you're sure gonna miss me when i'm gone I'm up potting this John Fennick phlox pan. <laughs> I know it's phlox that's what I know so I have up potted it into a much bigger pot because it lived it survived through the winter and I'm so excited about that I want to see that pretty phlox grow and these few little petunias, which are the stragglers from last season's sales, I'm just going to stick them in this um, big, bigger pot and I'll pot them together. See if these petunias can make a lovely little flower mix for me. If they want to grow, they do. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> I don't fret over these things too much. I just let, uh, let nature kind of do what it wants to do. Usually works out. can't fight nature you got to work with it beautiful take these little dead spriggies off there we go give you a haircut out with the old and on with the new that's pretty that's gonna make a nice beautiful little flower pot hello little buddy big old bumblebee I kept hearing this loud buzz and I found it big old bumblebee is trapped in the greenhouse See if you can find your way out, buddy. The doorway is right there. Come on, you can do it. The geese are very much enjoying the grass over there. Picking through the weeds and the foliage. So helpful. 
And I outpotted this into this bigger bowl thing because this just, it's still alive, obviously. It's beautiful and it needs more room. It's that sedum autumn joy. It's just, it's going to be so lovely. I love when it flowers. So even the flowers, like these dead flowers right here that are coming off of it, even when it goes to flower, it's still just gorgeous. So yeah, it deserves a spot. Okay, I've been putting this off for a while, but it's time. That rose right there, <laughs> that thing, oh my goodness, y'all, look. And this is like a little sprig, I mean, smaller than one of those little shoots, a little half-dead sprig of rose that I just pulled up out of the ground when we first moved here and put it in a little pot, and um, wow, yeah, it's <laughs> it definitely wants to live. It's happy and loving life, so I'm going to give this a spot somewhere. I've got to plant it today. Yeah, I think this bucket right here next to the greenhouse, it's its empty. It has nothing in it. It doesn't feel fulfilled. This bucket is sad and lonely. So let's go ahead and give it a friend. Let's go ahead and put the, the rose in this bucket and see how it does right here. I think it's a good spot. yeah good strong roots that started out as a little sprig of a rose y'all it's got some good strong roots on it we're gonna take care of you now honey we're gonna feast it make it all better Yeah. Yeah, grow, baby, grow. If you want to grow up over the greenhouse, you go ahead and do so. You can cover the greenhouse if you want to. Lila, come on, baby. Come on. I'm all done with the greenhouse. Come on. You want to come with me? No, she says, I'm fine where I'm at. Okay, you can stay there a little longer. I'll come back and get you. Oh, uh, still got to take time to get this last load. That was all that was left of it. The last load of the railroad ties off of this trailer. I gotta dump them off and start making the borders around things, finish up my protege, make the raised beds, all the things, but I gotta get that load off. I'm just putting it off for some reason. <laughs> my comfrey is alive and well, y'all. I'm so excited about this. I love that comfrey. And I was wanting to get my hands on some comfrey for so long and then I got some and I was afraid the winter had killed it, but nope, it's still kicking. That stuff is strong. I mulched it real heavy and it's coming on back. Good job, comfrey, good job.
Yay, I got that trellis put up and I got the bricks fixed and put back in place all around it. It's beautiful. It's gonna be even more beautiful when I plant things in here that grow up that trellis. Some lovely fresh smelling sweet pea flowers and, and some trailing trellising flowers and some lovely, um, probably some daisies and such in the bottom. It's gonna be beautiful, y'all. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, I scooted it over just a little bit, but I got it done. <laughs> what you doing, honey? Oh, trying to fix the tire, baby. Oh, fixing our tire. What a good husband. Such a good man. Meanwhile, I'm over here playing with bricks. <laughs> with all the rain we've been having comes lots and lots of asparagus shoots. Oh, I'm so excited about this. They may be little and they might not be fully mature yet, but dang, that's encouraging. Lots and lots of asparagus shoots coming up all over this bed. And the mums, the mums is spreading. I love it. Oh, this is beautiful. This makes my heart happy. That is just pure joy right there. My little yarrow lived and it's coming on back. It's trying, y'all. It's trying. All this rain is good for it. And my fever few decided to just like be off and popping with all this rain. I put it out on this table in straight sunshine and rain and it just whoosh decided to start jamming. I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, I made it back just before they closed. They told me that the feral cats are ready to be picked up, so let's go get them. Yeah, I stopped because I see a dog. Hey, baby. Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, come on. Come on, baby, Dot. Come on, baby. That's a good boy. That's a good girl. Come on, baby, Dot. Yeah, come on. Get the baby. Get the baby. Come on. Yeah. Come on, baby. I got them goodies for the baby, yeah. Oh, come here. Come here, my loves. Come here, yeah. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, come here. Come on, baby. Come on. Do you want some food? Do you want some treats? Come here. Come here, my loves. Come here. Yeah, come here, baby. Come on. Come on, honey bunny. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. I'm just gonna let him or her decide to come to me. Well, that one wasn't coming to me. That was just a, that baby was just a little too scared. I guess been wandering too long. Very untrusting of people and humans. Can't say that I blame it. I really wish that sweet little baby would have come to me. If I had one power, one like superpower on earth, it would be to convey my thoughts into the minds of animals. I wish I could just speak my intentions into their mind and they would understand me. I want the ability to tell an animal that, that I mean no harm, that I come to help you, that I have a place for you, that I'm going to take care of you. I really, truly wish I could convey that into their mind somehow. But I do my best. Can't save them all, and that's okay. Y'all, it must be a cat kind of day here because I see three cats at this gas station and they're they're a, they're willing to come kind of close to me, like really close, like I was able to put out a can of wet food and they came to it. So maybe I can get them to come to me. I don't know. I'm gonna go see how friendly they are. They're living at this gas station. Hey babies, yeah. Is it good? Come here. Is it good? Yeah. Is that good yum yums? Is that good food? Oh. One of them looks uh, older. That gray one in the back looks a little older. Very scrawny. Oh my goodness, scrawny, yeah. Meh. 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 Come here, babies. Come here. Meh. Come here. Meh. Yeah, 
It's okay. I'm not going to take your kitty food. I'm not going to take your kitty food. Yeah. Yeah. Here, how about if I come sit by the food? How about if I come sit by the food, huh? Meow. 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 Come here. Come here, kitties. Come here. Meow. Meow. Yeah, come see me. Come see. Come see me, baby. Come see. Yeah, come see. It's okay. You can come see. You can come get the food. Yeah, you can come get it. I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to touch you. Meow. Meow. Very apprehensive. Yeah, very nervous. They're thinking about it, though. I see it crossing their little mind. They're thinking about it. Trap number one. In place. There we go. There we go. All set. Trap is open. Now to get the second one. Now, unfortunately, I only have one blanket to cover this one trap. So only one trap's going to be covered. And number three. Number three is a long shot. It's the smaller trap, but you know, there's three cats out here, so I'm gonna use all three traps and just kind of hope for the best. <laughs> okay, all three of these traps are set out here with some goodies in them. And this is where the cats frequent and come to. So yeah, here's hoping. Best of luck catfishing. And here's a stray dog in the parking lot. Scared of me though. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here, baby. Yeah, it's not going to come to me. Are you going to be the second dog today to not come to me, baby? Uh, this is sweet girl. This is sweet boy. Girl or boy. Don't matter. Oh, poor baby. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. It's okay, baby. It's all right. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. Oh. You not going to come to me? You not going to talk to me? Come here. Yeah, no such luck. That one's scared of people, too. I feel bad for them, but what can I do? If they're going to run from me, I can't, you know, I can't force them. I can't chase them down. Yeah. Lots and lots of strays out here. It really is a big problem. It's a big problem. The whole community's going to have to help out to fix it. I'm just one person. And now I go home, get a, get a good night's sleep, and come back and check these traps in the morning. See you guys in the morning. So that went really well. Got them back home. Um, they're both boys, and they're both neutered now, and that's great. Um, got their injuries treated, the one with the hurt ears. Um, we're probably going to hang on to him for just a few days to give him some antibiotics and help him heal up. The one with the eye, um, the vet said there's nothing you can do about that eye. It just is the way it is. It's already been healed over years ago, and, I mean, he's functioning, functioning perfectly fine. Good morning, big family. I just got done taking care of all the dogs, walking everybody, pottying everybody, taking care of all the cats. Um, I gave the antibiotic to the little guy with the hurt ears, uh, the little feral that got fixed. I slipped it in his food. I'm going to go back and check later if he ate all that wet food and ate the antibiotic. That was the only way we could medicate him, just stick it in his wet food. That's what the vet told us to do. So I hope he ate a good breakfast this morning. I also fed breakfast to the little one-eye feral that... Uh, the doc said was going to be fine and going to be okay on his own. He will be released back into the wild today. I'm going to show y'all that later. I'm going to release him into the wild. We're going to hold on to the little ear cat, um, the little injured one, um, for eight to ten days, enough time to give him all of his antibiotic, and then we'll release him back into the wild. Right now, I am headed out to that gas station that we went to last night. I've got to go check those traps. It's a rainy day today, and tomorrow we got chances of rain. Um, and I think it even rained last night. I feel really bad about that. Those cats might be wet. Um, but I'm going out first thing this morning to check those traps and to gather up any cats that I've caught and take them to drop them off at the vet to get fixed. So let's go see what we caught. I can already see from here looking out the windshield that one of my traps is still open and still has food in it and hasn't caught anything. So I'm gonna look at the other two and see.
Well, this one closed. I guess it got set off a little early. It didn't catch anything. This one closed. But, uh, this one's still open. This one's closed. And it has a kitty. We got a pretty kitty. Okay, we caught one. All right. And y'all, this is not even one of the cats that I saw last night. This is not even one of the cats that I was hoping to catch. So evidently there's more of a cat problem out here at this gas station than we thought. Evidently there's more coming out of the woodwork. But this is a pretty orange kitty. Um, probably a male. Most orange cats are male. So let's get him over to the vet. Okay, so I'm feeling kind of dumb right now. I know I'm not dumb. I'm not going to get too down on myself. But I'm feeling a little dumb right now. <laughs> I went and bought more uh, cat carriers because I don't have enough personal regular small regular cat carriers to take cats into the vet. I have all these traps, but I didn't have enough carriers. So I came to Walmart real quick to buy more cat carriers and I had the little orange kitty with me in the trap. I put together one of the cat carriers and I opened the carrier when it got all set up and I backed the trap up to it and opened the trap door to the trap into the carrier. And I guess I wasn't quick enough or wasn't paying enough attention, but there was like a, it shifted when the, when the cat, you know, jumped and banged around in the trap, it shifted a little bit, scooted the trap slightly away from the carrier to where there was enough of a gap in between the two to where he could slip out. And he slipped out and bolted in the middle of the Walmart parking lot. This feral cat has bolted. Can't get it back. <laughs> so I won't be taking that baby to the vet today. Um, I am going to set out more traps and just uh, try again. The, like, the other two traps are already set at the gas station. I'm going to take this trap and probably set it back out at the high school with some wet cat food. Good news is I have cat carriers now um, and I'm going to do better next time. I have learned from this. I'm going to um, probably wrap the connection point between the trap and the cat carrier. I'm going to wrap it with a blanket so that there's no disconnect there and there's no space for them to slip out. And I'll probably have someone with me helping me next time because I'm out here doing this by myself. So I need a partner. I need, need one of the girls to help me. So lesson learned. Lost, lost one of the kitties. Dang it. <laughs> oh well, we'll try again. There's always tomorrow. We'll try again. Back out here at the high school, I have set up the next trap and it's all hidden and everything looks good got some cat food in it all right it's time to go release that other feral kitty with the one eye okay kitty this is your new home you can be nice and happy in the woods you have lots to roam and play with come on out time to go come on sweetie you can hunt all the mice you want to in there all the critters and squirrels and voles and moles Time to go hunting. Come on. There you go. Good kitty. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good luck. Have fun. Kitty's gonna be just fine. I'm grateful that he got a good breakfast before he left us. He got food and water. He got all the medical care he needs. He's got the best chance at, at the rest of his life at living out a happy life as a feral cat. And that's the best they can hope for. That, that's the best life that you can give a feral cat is to have uh, rabies shot, um, all the medical attention they need, and then, um, you know, as healthy as possible, and then fixed so that they don't repopulate, and then let them go live their happy life. We gotta take care of our feral cats too, guys. We've, we've gotta be kind to the feral population. So I'm really happy about that. That was a huge success that blessed my heart and that encouraged me to keep going and to do this more often. That really, that really was hopeful to me. That, that filled my cup right there. That was good. There's a dog walking down the road toward me. Yeah, there's a dog, yeah. It seems like a good puppy. Come here, baby, come here, yeah. That's a good puppy, come here. Come here, yeah. Can I touch? No, no, can I touch? I'll be good, yeah, I'll be sweet. So right as I've almost got this dog eating cat food out of my hand, this other dog comes running up and just eats some of this straight out of my hand. This other one with the black on him has a collar. So obviously someone owns this dog, just ran right up to me, no fear. But the other one is a stray and still is very apprehensive of me. Let's see if I can get him. <laughs> you can't eat all of it. Wait, wait, you can't eat all of it. That's all I have. Hold on. Let me try to get that other one. Well, I wasn't able to get that little guy. I tried and tried. I chased uh, 
I chased him around up and down in the ditches. I tried to go slow. I tried to be patient. Um, he or she would come to me and would kind of eat out of my hand a little bit, but then I would go to like reach for him and, and he would bolt. He was too skittish. Um, so it didn't, didn't work and I didn't have a leash or anything to like rope around his neck real quick and, and he just wouldn't come to me. But this other little guy with the, or girl with the collar on obviously belonged to somebody. So, um, I'm going to ask around and we're going to post on Facebook and we're going to try to find the owner because that was a long stretch of highway with no houses and I don't know, I don't even know where to start asking. Like, I don't know where that puppy came from. So, um, we're going to try to find its owner. Wish us luck. I made it here and got reinforcements to help me. <laughs> that is a very sweet girl. Obviously owned by somebody. Beautiful blue eyes. Got a collar. Looks fairly healthy. A little underfed, but I mean, maybe she's been traveling for a while. Very dirty. We're going to give her a bath and some food. And we're going to try to find that owner for yeah, you, baby. Lucky yeah, somebody is missing you, love. Come here. Look at my dog, y'all. Do you have a stick? Did you find a stick? <laughs> She's showing it off to all the other dogs, lording it over them, like, look what I got, look what I got. <laughs> You're a nut. You're a nut. Only my dog. Oh my goodness. Only Biscuit. <laughs> help with construction needs. Yeah. She's like, you want to throw it? You want to throw it? <laughs> oh, Lila. Oh, that is a happy girl. Happiest dog in the world right now. <laughs> Out here rolling in the sunshine. That's a good Lila. That's a good Delilah, baby. Oh, did you good girl? Such a good girl, yes. Yes. Good morning, Miss Leia. Yeah, we found out your name. Your name is Leia. Y'all, we found her owners. Um, the owner's sister uh, saw our post and texted her about it. Um, or someone texted her. Uh, anyway, I don't know. But we found her owner. We found her owner. Thank all of you for sharing and and uh, and, and helping us helping us find Miss Leia's owner. Yeah, you get to go home this morning. Yeah, sweet girl, get to go home this morning. Yeah, just out here waiting, waiting for her owners. They text me and said they're on the way, so they should be here real soon. Oh, are you excited, Leia? You excited to go home? You had a nice little sleepover, didn't you? Yeah, nice little sleepover, didn't you? There they are, girl. They're here. You excited? Here's your sweet girl. Oh, yep, they're here. They're here. Here's your girl. <laughs> Y'all, it finally worked. It finally worked. I caught a baby. I caught a kitten. Come see. Come I see. Keep the kitten. You want to keep the kitten? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> Bill, we can't keep the kitties. We totally can. We're not supposed to keep the babies. <gasps> oh, it's little. Oh, it's so that's cute. The one the that's the one like we saw. Yeah. Weeks. I think that's the one I saw go in the drain pipe that day. Hi, little guy. I found you. I think you're the only kitten around here. Oh, maybe the only one left? Yeah. Well, we'll I've see. only ever seen this one. Like, okay. I've never seen any other kittens. All right, well, let's get it in the carrier. I'm going to take it to the vet today, get it checked out, and get it healthy and get some shots. Yeah. All right, let's get it. Okay, you ready? Okay. Little guy, come on. Come here. Little guy or girl? It's probably a girl. It's creating too much of an opening, that's the problem. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, now it only has one way to go. Into the chair. Come on, sweetie. Can you go around the stair down here? Yeah. I on, really sweetie. don't want to scare you, but can you just slow yeah, this can way? Can you just scoot in? Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. All right, perfect. Hold on, yeah. hold on, don't lose the Yeah, here's the thing, you've got to be able to close the cage very quickly. Yeah, so, wait, 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 okay, you ready? Not particularly, but. Okay. Oh. Okay. You got it? Yep. Okay, there we go, okay. Trap to keep it. Here we go. We got the baby. All right. Yay. That's in there. Got the baby. All right, off to the vet we go. 
Here we are back at the gas station. I've got to check these two traps that I left out here and see what we got. It's closed. Oh, but there's no kitty in it. Oh no. No, no kitties in it. Dang. Didn't catch nothing. So little tiny here is burrowing into Sarah's shirt. <laughs> it is so scared. Yeah, but it let us drag it out of the carrier, which was good. I grabbed it by the scruff. I dragged it out. It was crying and it's real scared. It doesn't understand what we're doing, but we're going to get it fixed up. It has a little bit of the snuffles. It sound, its nose sounded a little snuffly, but it's letting us touch and hold. Kittens are naturally, you know, curious and they let people touch a lot easier than adult cats. And it's not feral yet. That's in its favor. It's not gone feral yet because it's a baby. So maybe we can domesticate this baby and get it adopted. Maybe we can find it a good family. But first, let's get it healthy. Let's get some shots and see if it's if it's going to make it. First, we need to take care of it. Yeah. You're going to be okay now. We're going to fix it. Good morning, big family. Baby cat is doing great this morning. We have named him. We're going to say him because the vet tech took her best guess on him and said looks like a boy it's hard to tell at this age because they're so little they're so young it's it's really hard to tell until their genital area fully develops as they as they get a little older but looks like a boy so we're gonna go with boy but we have named it pebbles and it's a very very sweet boy and that's the wonderful thing about catching kittens at an early age even the feral kittens if you can catch them at an early age you can train them to be sweet wonderful house pets you can train them to like you they turn into such good babies. So I want to show you how well he's doing. Good morning, baby. Good morning, sweet pebbles. Y'all can probably hardly see him. He's in there. He's in his blanket. Hi, little pebbles. Hi, baby. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Dater Dot. No more hissies, huh? You don't even hiss at us anymore. He loves being held and snuggled. And he takes his medicine so well, y'all. He takes his medicine every day to help his little cold get better. Oh, gee, yeah. Oh, gee. They turn into sweet snuggle babies as soon as they realize you're not going to eat them or hurt them. And he is such a good baby. And you can tell he doesn't feel well. He can hear his snuffles, his little congestion. And just like when a toddler is sick, you know, a human baby, they just want to lay all over mama and just let mama comfort them until they feel better. That's what he does. He kind of lays around, he rests. Doesn't play much, not very active yet because he doesn't feel good. So sweet though, so soft. You're a good baby. Oh, that's a good baby. I think we're gonna keep him. <laughs> I don't think I can let this one go, guys. I don't think I'm going to adopt this one out. I think we're going to keep this baby. I'm getting attached already. I know it's terrible. Can't run a rescue in a shelter and get attached to every animal and keep it. You just can't. But, <laughs> oh, I can't help it. I can't help it, y'all. So cute. So cute. And I'm going to give y'all a bit of a teaser, a little preview, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I ordered something guys and this is a big tall box so <laughs> take a random guess as to what it is but I ordered something really good and on my next video I'm going to be using it outside and it's going to be game changing. Oh it's going to be so good. I'll give you a hint. It's going to help my garden greatly. <laughs> so on that note I know I'm cutting it short but I'm going to see you guys on the next one. I love you. Be good. Bye.